Welcome back to Dead State Reanimated with me, Noble. This should be, I believe, episode 31 if my uh, uploads are correct, <laughs> or my thoughts of the upload order. But yes, we're going to go ahead and begin right where we left off. Did I hit this truck? I did not. We got ourselves a hunting rifle that uses 7.62 ammo. Hmm. We've gotten a few rounds of 7.62. Ooh, a firecracker. I found one of these early in uh, that first gameplay I did back when I was testing the game out. And uh, it is a great noisemaker distractor. If I can actually make these in the, uh, the, the workbench or science area or whatever, I'll make a lot of these because these are great distractors. If you got like a biker gang and you like throw that firecracker over there and watch the zombies hoard the uh, biker gang, <laughs> good times, right? Yeah, the hunting rifle might come in. Uh... Okay, that's not right at all. This rifle has been used to bring down big game or slightly modified to suit the needs of a SWAT team. That, that's that's not a SWAT team sniper rifle. <laughs> it's not even close. Uh... Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go with the good old Max here. Undercover SWAT vehicle, meaning they didn't want to repaint it for the uh, game. Explains the SWAT zombie we saw inside. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Yay, more antibiotics. I think it's a good uh, good idea that we did come here because uh, it's paying off with the antibiotics, especially. We do have a good supply of antibiotics. We've gotten when we rescued the Guzmans. I think it was the Guzmans, and uh, went back to that town and stuff. We got a, a good many extra antibiotics. This really isn't a good angle to come in. But if I come in that door, she's going to see me for sure. Everybody keep tight. That way, when this happens, I can rush everybody in quickly. Smacky stick. Uh... Yeah, you ain't getting anywhere near the area you need to get to. Why don't you just come over here and hang out for a little bit? Stay everybody else's uh, combat range. See? Shredded doctor. Okay, yeah. I was about to say that seemed like there might be a bit of a problem there. Whoopsie! Well, you're just in the wrong place for Paul to be able to beat on you. <laughs> Paul's like, have a good night. Yeah, the, the infected woman we have in our shelter is actually in a lot better shape now that we have. Uh... There we go. Now that we have all this extra antibiotics. Ooh, surgical tools. Now, I wonder if this is used for another upgrade for our shelter. I hope it is, because that means we just saved ourselves a major issue by finding these. So, yeah, that's going to be cool if we've already uh, gotten something we need later. Now, we definitely need... Whoopsie! We definitely need some of our other stuff, but... uh. Yeah, unfortunately, my character's in the way. And he is not what I'd call the best for this situation. So I'm just going to put him out of the way and let you come in. We can't let him fill up that area and, you know, kind of block off our entrance. There's only one fighter attacking. So... Now I can get Paul in here. Then I can get Vic in here. Yep, two little points. Then I can get myself over here. Can't do anything either. And then kill it with an axe. And everybody got to look and enjoy it. Like, hmm, that was a satisfactory attack right there. You did a good job, sir. Another EMT kit. 
Whoa. I was about to say, how did you see me? But, whatever. No, 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 no! Ow, it's on me! Get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off! Uh. No, you fool. Hmm. No, don't attack my ally. Attack the putrid woman. And do nothing. Apparently it's up to Gats to get this job done. Because he's the only real man we have here anyway. So, not time to use that healing kit on Gats. I know I call him Gats every time, like I said in the other episode. It's the name I prefer to call him over Max. Crash card. All right. So this area's been taken care of. We got one at least over here. He keeps popping in and out of existence. Ooh. So we got SWAT again. Gutless course. We know we got another SWAT guy over here, so. We got a couple SWAT zombies hanging out. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if there's not a few in these rooms. Uh, you know, this looks like lab equipment. I think they meant to put a table right here, but they must have forgot to install it <laughs> in the game. It's like, yeah, I, I keep my um, my lab equipment snug on the floor. <laughs> Little tiny uh, canisters being spun about. Dead body, so there's a chance, yeah, there's a zombie in here. So are you a nurse or what? Leaky woman. Yeah, not a nurse. kill oh no not a kill but I did put her in position for the next person to come in the door and kill her kill there we go now, apparently she was leaky because she had been covered in pepper spray. <laughs> this cigar-smoking businessman's got his Playboy, newspaper, and antibiotics, and Suthram as well. He was living large up until this uh, zombie killed him. <laughs> Okay, so it's SWAT body armor, so I'm assuming it's an upgraded version of what Vic's got on here. I mean, he's got better uh, protection against uh, projectiles, so... Probably best to beat the crap out of him. Hmm. Maybe I should switch back to that bow. The bow should have penetration capabilities. I'm gonna move out of the way real quick. Okay, good. Melee was the better way to do it. Destroyed armor? Aww. Can't carry that much. Three pounds and completely useless, so. Let's get Vic to carry that armor. Worst case scenario, we ditch it, because I think it's only good for being broken down. Used as parts, you know? Let's get Paul in there. Asthma medication. Hmm. Maybe we're going to have someone who has asthma later, and that's going to be useful. Or maybe not. Any zombs in here? No? Okay. 
You walked right behind it. I meant to step over there. Ugh. Like there's two in here. Gotta sell some potted meat. Okay, once again, we got ourselves a dead person, so there's probably a zombie in here. Nope. There's that medical satchel. Once again, the EMT bag should be an upgrade for the medical satchel. Or maybe it carries an extra five charges as well as gives you a bonus to medical treatments. Uh, the satchel weighs five pounds. We're not taking it. We're only taking that one item. There's no reason for me to take it. It's too heavy for a satchel. All right, pull back here and wait. You stay there and wait. You move over here and wait. And you'll pull back here and wait. You smacked my paw, how dare you? Apparently that oof was enough to get that one's attention. That's right, you say there and you growl really loudly and annoy me slightly. And you beat the zombie's head in for being annoying. Or just miss that last shot and kind of throw the whole game. What do you look like, a sports ball player? Hey look, purification tables, just what we need for our uh, situation back at the stronghold. Hooray. Just gonna come back here and attack you from behind. Don't mind me. Not dead? Well, that sucks. For you. Now you get a whole bunch of Paul in your face. I have not had much use for the shotgun so far. I'm not a shotgun guy, to be honest. I mean, there's probably a lot of people who play this game. It's like, man, why don't you have the shotgun yet? I don't like the shotguns. If I get a nice combat shotgun of some type, I might, you know, use it, but... Another six antibiotics. Man, I am rolling in antibiotics right now. Maybe I need to attack these medical facilities more often. I come to realize, in the last episode, I said, Hey, you know, let me know if, uh, you know where the other hospitals are. There's a decent chance I might have already found it before the episode ever goes live, you know? Especially if I don't find, uh, what I need at this place. This would look like the place I'd need to look for that book at. Maybe there or here. This looks like the place I'd probably find the uh, lab equipment. But it ain't looking good for me finding what I need. The book or the uh, other. It's crushing skulls over here. Don't mind me. Sweet. There's another place it might have the book. What? Oh, it's in the other room. I was like, but the stuff in here is not. Ah, uh. oh, crap. Paul's being uh, double teamed. Now, 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 now. Paul, you work on this one. The others will take... Ah, oh, crap. The others will take care of that one that's attacking you. Strike that, the one that's eating you. Paul, if you'd be ever so kind as to put this one down. Eh, better yet, just step out of the way real quick. That'll work in my favor. Well, Vic, it's your problem now, buddy. <laughs> You're the one who stepped in and missed. I did not help that situation at all. Vic's like, 
Why did you make me stand here? I'm like, I thought you'd hit him. <laughs> Vic is not having a good day right now. I would go, ha hey, ha, hey, you missed, but he didn't the other attacks. Ah, darn zombies. Now don't miss. Thank you. Embarrassment to cops everywhere. I just realized I had a second attack I could have done. I completely forgot it. Oh, well. Vic, take that. Go ahead and drop that ammo in your inventory slot. This has actually been a really good episode for, uh, getting ourselves extra ammunition and getting ourselves, uh, uh, extra antibiotics. It's all around been a pretty sweet, hey look, and we got some fancy chocolates to hand out to our, uh, upset civilians. I say upset because we left them kind of high and dry. Sensitive medical equipment. Ooh, this sounds like another useful one. This bag contains lucky. Okay, outpatient stuff. So, this has a use. So we found at least two items that have use. This and the, uh, what was the other one? The delicate procedure bag and the... Asthma medication, yeah. So both of those sound very useful. Either there's going to be events later on that that's necessary, which we've already beaten because we came in here. Lab storage. Microscope! Yes! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, that was beneficial. Actually, you might be able to hold it. Yeah, you did. That might be three things we got out of the way now. The only thing we're missing now is the medical books. For Rini. And if I don't get it, well, guess what? We're just going to be in trouble. Don't think I'm gonna find it over here because we got zom zoms everywhere. That front desk isn't gonna have medical literature, I don't think. Definitely not over there on the uh, newspaper stand. Let's take a step back. Uh, yeah, he's going next. I just need to keep clear for him. Get behind him and smack him. Oi, it's not what I meant, but whatever. Attacking a zombie firefighter from behind. It's the only way to take one down. All right. Uh, I'd rather not jump out of that door and go, surprise! Because things could go horribly wrong. SWAT zombies are sitting there looking at us. You know, he made a sound that made me think it was a survivor, and I was like, oh, no. Don't you miss. Because <laughs> I thought to myself, if I move him over to this spot here, in that move, that'll give someone else the chance to come in and finish the zombie off without him hurting anybody. But I said, Paul, he's a good fighter. I don't have to move him. He'll get that third strike in and that zombie will drop to the floor like a sack of potatoes. That did not happen. At all. So instead, I'm going to take this opportunity and move the entire team up to get ready to fight this uh, SWAT zombie. So yeah, just come over here. We only have three wide anyway. You come up here. And you come up here, and hopefully this one will trigger. 
They both did. See, I, I don't know what that one was doing. Paul, you have to deal with that one on your own. You're the one who screwed up that the whole situation. <laughs> Paul got an opportunity attack in. That's great. Got ourselves another asthma medication. Interesting. Overnight bag didn't have anything too useful. Paul, you're gonna need some medical attention soon, so uh, don't do anything stupid, all right? You're just gonna have to deal with it, buddy. Eh, it's gonna be a lot of medical attention for my team after this. This this is definitely not the facility they were referring to. I guarantee it, because this is definitely not bad enough for that. But we are gonna go ahead and start healing, because everybody's getting their asses kicked just slightly. Enough to be concerning. Except for uh, Gats, he's doing pretty good. And my character hasn't been touched yet. Touched yet. <laughs> it's coming. See, I'm glad I upgraded my medical. I'm up to 35, 36 type healing. That's uh, helping out a lot. Anybody else picked up any medical items to hand to me? Another bandage. I can do that medical item flip-flop again. A leather jacket. We're using far better armor right now, so it's not really that big of a deal. Well, almost everybody's wearing far better armor. Whoopsie doodles. There you are. Standard cop zombie. Oh, you old so-and-so. Finally. About to say, man, you were missing up a storm over here. Let's just get you out of the way, yeah. Hmm. Let's get Gats back on the scene, just in case there's any more undead in here. Sell some fine bourbon <laughs> and an MRE. <laughs> Doesn't exactly sound like what should be in the hospital. But you know, we'll take what we can get, right? This is the last room, so we have not found Rini's medical book yet. I'm not holding much hope. Oh, I hit the door again. If it's not here or here, then it's not here at all. Someone's family portrait there, probably one of the creators. Oopsies. Oh, somebody's blocking the door, that's why. Yeah, just gonna chop them down a little bit. A little off the top. And a lot off his head. Okay. Did not go as well as I had hoped. I mean, we got medical items. We just didn't get the ones we were looking for. At least not yet. Those, though, we are looking for. We'll take as many of those as we can get. Uh, Vic... Can you carry it? Yeah, you 
pink area. Come on, and it's not there. Man, we got antibiotics out the wazoo. Woo! Okay. I can be happy about that. If there's nothing else I can say about this mission, I got extra bullets, I got extra antibiotics, and I got extra chances on winning here. And guys, come back here and open the freaking door. Don't go all the way around the compound. Oh, you're going to go all the way around the compound. Oh, you're going all the way around. What the heck's wrong with you dudes? <sighs> Shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Just to let everybody know who may not know that. They went and made a seashell shape. You know, that little spiral deal. <laughs> Man. They may be great warriors, but they are not great uh, thinkers. All right. Take horse and travel yonder. Ugh. We might spend the rest of this episode and just uh, utilize these guys for uh, helping around the shelter for what we lost. Oof. Okie dokie. I'll go ahead and offload their inventory in between episodes because we're about to end it. Let's go ahead and get rid of all those extra weapons and stuff. <laughs> Doug, a farmer. He's like, my hands are blistering. I don't know what I'm doing. Bud's like, just follow my lead and shut the hell up. <laughs> shut up, Bud or Doug. I'm sorry, Bud. Bud and Doug. That, sound, that sounds like a sitcom from the 70s. It's that Bud, Bud and Doug show. Starring Doug Philman and Bud uh, Beasley. <laughs> oh, man. Much as I love to get the garage up and running, I don't think we have an engineer that works on vehicles yet. Go ahead and strip that uh, time down as much as we can. Oh, well, I really feel like Todd... I need to take him out just to put him in danger once, just to see what happens. Well, his, well, I, I, I just can't be put in danger. I'm, I'm just not that kind of person. Be like, this is the post-apocalyptic zombie situation you're living in. You're doing whatever we tell you you're doing. Uh, Paul, come on back to the team. Gats, secondary MVP, and then myself. Eh, I'm just like basically the medic at this point. I'm not even all that great in a fight. So we got 13 hours for our, uh, uh, assume not 13 hours for that. Nine hours, I mean, for the workshop. So we can get that done tomorrow, no problem. Matter of fact, we could probably move one of these people off this job, depending on what happens tomorrow during the, uh, in-between days. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode before I go ahead and hit the medic, or, uh, item, so... Thank you everybody for coming and stopping by. If you like this episode, hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you feel like it, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Until next time, stay safe out there everybody, and I'll check you next time.